Hi there, John from Man and Many. You mentioned how the film is very immersive and I think one of the striking things for me was the cinematography. Mm. I'd love to know what it was like working with um, Sayambu, the mm-hmm. cinematographer. Sayambu is amazing. He's such a just a lovely presence to be around, I think, also. He's got such a calmness to him. And you can watch him. He'll sit down in his, in his chair and he just like kind of looks around and he's like checking the light. And then he'll get up and he'll test something. He'll look, he'll fix it. And then he'll just go sit back down. He's so calm and, um, and masterful at what he does. I, I, I know this is stupid to say. Like the light kind of also played so much into um, how our characters, like he, and it's not stupid to say, I take that back. He somehow gave us a, some kind of youthful glow somehow, yeah. like, and was able to like make us look younger through his lights and make us feel like we were in a different part of our life with the way that he illuminated our, I don't know, our skin or color. He was also really like such a gift for a cinematographer to allow space so that when you, it sounds really obvious, but it's actually s- such a talent to make you feel like there's not, not a camera there. Apart from, you know, in the tennis match where the camera's like in your face. It was generally, it really felt like we were in our world and left to it, if that makes sense.